Okay, guys, my thing starts to uh, to to go off quite abruptly, and it gives me no warning. So this is a continuation of the last one. I'm sorry, I am not a camera woman. Um, but essentially, one of the things you can do is you can create a whole mood by, for instance, consciously saying, okay, every color that I use on this piece is going to have more of a blue base. So if I use a green, I'm going to use like a peacock green. Or if I use a purple, I'm going to use more of the imperial violet, which is a very blue kind of violet. Um, and that can actually be something that can kind of get into the subconscious of the person who's looking at it. And they may not even know why this picture gives them a certain feeling, but it just does. It's just there. Uh, so here, if the camera will pick it up for your viewing amusement. Oh, boy, this is difficult. Um, on one side, you'll notice on the left side, we've got a light blue-green on the bottom and a darker bluish-green on the top. And then on the other side, we've got kind of a light yellowish green and a dark yellowish green. And as you can tell, they're both green, I mean, or all four of them, I guess, really, are actually green, but there is quite a bit of difference in the perception of those greens, in the, the mood that they can convey, and in the uh, the kind of effects that you can get with them. So that's one of the things, when I started paying attention to that, I found that I really kind of enjoyed myself more. I had less moments where I had to say, what was I thinking? Why? Why did I put this color next to that color? Why? Um, and that's almost the end of this base level. Um, I, I wouldn't even call it a tutorial. I guess just base level warning. Um, oh, except one more thing. Uh, sharpening. Please, God, do not use the kind of sharpener that you put it in and then you roll the crank and it makes that horrible sound. Uh, for this kind of pencil, you really do kind of want an actual art sharpener, uh, just something very sharp because these pencils are made out of cedar wood, I think it is, and it will splinter if you're not careful. Um, okay, we'll see you on the next go-round.